What up, blockheads? I'm headed to Orlando Harley right now, and we're going to go test ride the newest Harley that's out, which is... Let's see what it can do. Aaron. Here it is, boys and girls. <laughs> Alright, so doing a walk around, just some quick specs about the new 2018 Harley Street Glide. The seat height is uh, 26 and a half inches, it has a 4.7 inch ground clearance, has a 5 gallon tank capacity, which reportedly gets 47 miles per gallon from the 107 cubic inch Milwaukee 8. Now that uh, converts to about 1,750 cc's. Now that is reported to make about 108 foot pounds of torque. It has a 27.9 degree right lean angle and 28.7 degree left lean angle. And for braking, it has a 4 piston single disc fixed front and a 2 piston floating rear. Uh, just some quick features about the Milwaukee 8 engine, uh, it has 8 valves, shallow 4 valve combustion chambers, large area head cooling fins, the heads are oil liquid cooled via the radiator mounted between the front of the frame. It has an uh, internal counterbalancer that does away with 75% of the Harley shake and it has uh, 2 plugs per cylinder which equal heads and pistons being exposed to flame for less time by speeding up the combustion time resulting in a cooler, better performing engine. up here at Orlando Harley with my man a Aaron Aaron and uh, Harley just released the brand new 2018 Softail Sport Glide because hybrid <laughs> <laughs> seen some stuff online about it obviously saw the press release from Harley key few things that I know about it but you being the knowledgeable one the professional what can you tell us about it so yeah, like you said, 2018 Sport Glide. Uh, it is on the new soft tail frame with the mono shock. Uh, it's got the inverted front ends. Uh, the rake on this one is kind of in between some of the other soft tails. This one's at 30 degrees. The fat bob is 28. Breakout is I think 32. So it's kind of in the middle ground for that. Quick detached saddlebags. Quick detached mini bat wing fairing. It's got the new Mantis wheels on there. Uh, two into one exhaust. What do you think about those Mantis wheels? I think they look pretty nice. Yeah. Different. Very different from what Harley usually does. Yeah, I mean, looking at all the wheels like everywhere around us, yeah. it's all straight, straight or spoked or. Yep. Uh, it does have all the same loadout as the other soft tail, so you got your ABS security system. This one actually has cruise control on it, which is pretty nice. The bags are very different from anything Harley's done before. It's got the same opening system as the new touring bikes, but they open in the opposite direction. The hydraulic in there? Yeah. That way, if you open it from the opposite side. Nice. Nice oh, that's cool if that's actually, yeah, one. leaning. And then they're easily detachable, just flick yep. this up and... Just pull that. Damn. Yeah, super easy. Pretty easy. It'll save you from wearing a backpack anyways. That's crazy easy, man. Yeah. That's the same style of locking that was on the Dyna Switchback. But with the, that one had traditional bags instead of these. What is it attached to? Just the fork? Yeah, it is attached on the fork. Oh, damn. Those clamp on the forks right there. It's got these rubber bumpers to line up with the forks, and that hit, hits on the top triple tree to line it up. That's cool, man. They definitely made it simple. Yeah. Like this little useless windshield thing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they do make a taller one. It's uh, five inches. Can you swap it out with that one? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. And then I'm sure it's only a matter of time before all the other normal brands, clockwork. Oh yeah, exactly. Big taller, better shaped ones. So it still has your adjustable uh, suspension on the right side with this yep. one too. Yep. Yeah, right here. Obviously key fob comes with passenger pegs. Yeah, I think this one's like 680, somewhere around there. Okay. Another thing that's different, uh, you'll notice the Derby cover is a lot smaller than all the other Harleys. They actually did the slim primary cover. 
So you actually you have a little bit more legroom on this one compared to the other soft tails. It's got nice. A primary. And the seat height is like 26 inches, so it's kind of in the middle ground. The other soft tail. Okay. So it's still a really comfortable bike. Yeah, you're five ten, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you mind taking a seat so we can see how it fits you? We're very comfortable in these bins. And like I said, a lot more leg room on this side, which is nice. Yeah, you don't have to like stick your leg out as much. Exactly. Yeah. All right, cool, man. Well, let's ride them and try them out. All right. First time getting on the Sport Glide. Turn it on. We're in neutral. Crank her up. Coming from my bike to this is so much, it's so funny, like how little vibration there is. Good to go. Those counterbalancers, man. All right, so on the new 2018 Harley Davidson Sport Glide, whenever I hop on these, we always kind of follow the same formula. So I'm gonna be going over the controls the feeling of the rider position and then we're going to take it in this industrial area back here going to kind of get on a little bit so going over controls traditional harley controls on the left side you have your selection switch which changes your selection here on the display so dude you have your left blinker which i just used and it is self-canceling as you guys can see blinker turned off you have your high beam, you have your low beam, you have your press in for the flashing light, so if you guys see there, pressing in, and then you have cruise control, which you press in to turn on, a little indicator comes on right there, you press back in to turn off. Which I'll show you guys how to use that here in a little bit on the ride. On your right side, you've got your on-off switch. You have your hazards right here. Below that, you have your starter, and then you have your right indicator, which we're using right now. Oh, neutral, super easy to find. Well, that is nice. So funny riding with uh, AA Run, riding with Eric's old Fat Bob. If you guys don't know, Eric is a blockhead, part of the blockhead crew, and uh, he traded in that bike for a brand new 2018 Road King. All right, so that pretty much goes over all the controls. Just going through the uh, selection and seeing what you guys see on the display. Uh, so on the left side, this is, like I said, your selection switch. Oh snap, GTA, right? Just right up onto there. <laughs> so your selection switch, left side. Currently, we are on RPMs. Press it once, it goes to your miles. So this bike has nine miles on it as of right now. It's got your trip A, your trip B, uh, your remaining mileage, so basically remaining gas mileage, which says 44 miles. You've got your time, and back to RPMs, which is where I'm gonna leave it. So going over the gauge here, you do have your miles per hour. Within that LCD as well, you do have a fuel level indicator, which just shows you your fuel. The bar is right there. And then you also have a gear indicator, which you can't see unless the clutch is out and you're in gear, so it says I'm in second gear right there. There isn't any switch here because like it, like AA Ron said, it is a uh, key fob. Clutch does feel a little far out and grabs a little out, but it's different, varies per bike. All right, so cruise control, you're basically gonna press inwards and then to set it, we'll get into third gear here. To set it, you're gonna press it down. This little indicator will turn green. Boom, green, and cruise control is on, which is nice. You know, if you're going on longer rides, throttle hand gets a little numb or tired, you wanna kinda of rest it for a second. It's good to be able to throw cruise control on. To cancel that, you can roll throttle forward. You can pull in or tap the brake, either rear brake or front brake, or you can uh, pull in the clutch. Any of those things will cancel. So usually what I do is I just roll forward on throttle a little bit, and it cancels it. Let's see how the lean is on this thing. Oh, snap. That's nice. It's very nice. Ergonomics wise though, like I'm 5'10", just like him, sitting in the seat, 
it feels really nice with the forwards. The only thing that feels a little weird is the handlebars. I feel like they should be bent forward a little more, which would actually be kind of hard to do because of the, the fairing piece here. So I feel like they're a little low, like I'm bent over a little bit. Uh, I'm coming from riding the uh, Lowrider S. And so that has drag bars on it, but it has risers and then drag bars. And so they sit a little bit more like right here. So these, the bars do feel a little low. Man, I, I'm just really impressed with the new clearance of the, uh, the new 2018 Harleys. Like even with the forwards, even with the bikes that have the mids, like the lean, like look at that, it's awesome. All right, so let's uh, get a little more spirited, blur this out from uh, 20, All right, three, two, one. Very nice. Oh man, that's definitely one thing that the new Milwaukee 8s do well is uh, power. And it sounds good too, you know, from the factory, that growl right there sounds really good. <laughs> oh, and the brakes are really, really good. I like it. The seating position feels a little weird. Yeah. The ergonomics, I feel like the bars are a little low. Like they're kind of, you know, I'd probably want to raise them up a little bit, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's smooth as hell. Like every other 2018, yeah. shifting the transmission is, you know, a very positive click, just like all the other 2018s. The seat, comfy, not bad for a person my height, our height. Yeah, my leg isn't hitting this thing. It gets really nice and hot. Surprised they uh, they didn't do a gauge or like they normally do previously. So they'll have like the fuel gauge here as well. See, I don't know. I, I would say probably the thing I dislike the most about it is uh, is the bars. They just feel like they kind of come back and down a little too much. But that's a super super easy change but love the lean angle love the power well, it's kind of a recurring theme with the new uh, 18s and the Milwaukee 8s suspension you know going over bumps man the new mono shock just feels super nice like I'll, I'll hit a couple bumps like on the way in here and it's just you don't even need to lift up off the seat for the most part and their stock seats are really actually a lot better than they used to be all right manhole cover no big deal normally i'd have to lift up on that on my uh dyno loretta s a couple bumps i mean yeah the suspension on these things is great man yeah it's, just, it's a super smooth ride screw it take it on the test track real quick Yeah, the first thing to scrape is your heel. But I mean, the lean angle is really super good. Tuck my heels a little bit, it gets even better. Yeah, dude, look at that. Super nice. I hate right turns. I mean, you can flick this thing around. I don't know how you can complain about that, man. It's freaking awesome. I mean, it's not a sport bike. John Duckhead freaking grinding down his 883. One thing I always like about these new ones, the kickstand. Take me some getting used to just getting on and off. I feel like I'd always kick the bags, but it's one of those acquired things. I don't, man, I... I think if somebody's looking for that modularity, because that's essentially exactly what it is. Yeah. I mean, you take off the bags, you take off the front fairing, it's gonna look like 
like a cross between like a breakout and one of the new soft tails and like a sportster almost it's a really weird kind of hybrid you know all mushed together yeah. it's got what's what's the capacity on the tank uh, it's a five gallon tank yeah so people can't complain about that you know obviously longer trips the front fairing is gonna help with all that wind and the buffeting um, you've actually got some storage if you want it crazy easily detachable it's just kind of like a it's a hybrid it's a total freaking hybrid you know between like touring and towning yeah. i think it's a, a nice option for those people that are maybe looking for for both the hauling capacity as well as the the windscreen which like you said has a another option for one that's taller yeah yeah so you can I mean, th this still helps a good bit i mean oh yeah as the one on your bike. dude yeah that, that thing helps a ton man yeah. but then if you don't want it and you just want to bebop around town and stuff you can take all that stuff off you know yeah. keep it in your garage or wherever and You're a bagger. <laughs> <laughs> that looks great. Let's see if I can do this. Somebody has never done it before. <laughs> you see those foam pads line up with the triple trees on the inside? Oh, okay, yeah, right there. A little more difficult with gloves. <laughs> <laughs> that looks good, man. I feel like I'm getting it more towards my lowrider S with that, right? A little front fair. <laughs> Throw them back on there. <laughs> Do we just helmet butt? <laughs> Alright, so you just gotta line up the arm here and then the two pieces here. Turn it back left. It's easy, man. Alright, now you go ride it, come back, give me your opinion. <laughs> it's honestly, man, like. All right, I guess just to let you guys know, I'm a lover of like all bikes. I'm really not picky when it comes to motorcycles. I'm definitely an enthusiast when it comes to uh, enjoying motorcycles because I mean, I like cruisers, sport bikes. I've got a CBR 1000 RR, you know, I've owned that low rider S. Uh, my girl, Miss Block, has a uh, Honda Rebel 250 from 1987. I'm gonna eventually buy a, uh, a dirt bike. So I like all bikes. All right, how was your test ride? <laughs> <laughs> Quick loop. It rides really good. I, I see what you're saying about the bars being a little low. Yeah. It does give it a more, it's got a very aggressive feel for something that is supposed to be like a hybrid between two. Right. It feels like, it. Don't, the bars make it feel almost a little cramped up, but I think it's a super easy fix. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't think it's something that you could do with the fairing on there, with the stock bars, because you couldn't really push it forward anymore. That, that's, true. that's true. They have a lot of pullback to them, so yeah. I don't think you'd be able to roll those forward. But, I mean, it still has a traditional riser clamp setup, so that, I mean, it's, it's easy to swap the bars on something like that. Yeah. Compared to a, a full touring bike where you got to remove the entire fairing and do all the wiring and everything like that. I don't know. Overall thoughts? I'm a fan. It rides good. The things I like about the other, uh, so like the soft tails, like the suspension is nice. The power is good. I think the modular, like the ability for it to be so modular is pretty cool. You know, a bunch of aftermarket companies are going to come out with different fairings and there's probably going to be different bag options and changing the seat is super easy and you got to pay a Harley tax and throw an exhaust on there and like a stage one. Nobody leaves a Harley stock. You know, like the, the the people that leave a Harley stock are the people that... Maybe I just won't finish that comment. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, continuing with the theme, with the Milwaukee 8 platform, it's starting with a really solid foundation. It rides great. I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of saddlebags, just because I'm not a huge fan of baggers, but I understand their, their purpose. Since Eric got one, I've put all my shit in his bike <laughs> whenever we go for a ride. <laughs> I put all of my stuff in his bags, so I can appreciate baggers. <laughs> but I mean, this one, the bags look good. The, the body, it flows really well with the, the, the mini fairing and everything like that. And then taking it off, like you said, you can't you can't tell the difference. It, lo it looks like it's just a new soft tail. Yeah. So they definitely, I feel like they nailed the middle ground between the two. Definitely what they were going for, that middle ground. I mean, even with the name, Sport Glide. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, overall thoughts, I like it. I just love all motorcycles, so... If you guys hate it, I'm sure you're going to post in the comments below. <laughs> I've already seen lots of hate about it, but whatever, man. 
my biggest thing is go to a dealership talk to these guys and go test ride one for yourself if you don't want them to bother you just come in here and say hey i'm just looking just browsing just want to check it out they'll leave you alone if you guys need any information if you have any questions on it be sure to post up in the comments below aaron's on youtube as well he'll uh post up in the comments and whatever questions you guys have we'll answer them to the best of our knowledge you guys can also find aa ron here on instagram facebook yeah so instagram and facebook his links are right here uh and in the description below big shout out to orlando harley for uh letting us test ride if you guys did enjoy the video be sure to uh hit the like button if you guys aren't subscribed already be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh leave your comments below let me know your thoughts until next time you guys ride safe out there stay vigilant and i'll catch y'all later deuces